Hello everyone, I'm Ron Grant coming to you live and direct from Tortola in the Virgin Islands. A happy Thursday to each and every one of you. You're watching 284 Media. Caribbean Posh 2023, now in its seventh edition, is making its way over to the U.S. Virgin Islands. I'm honored to be joined by the director of Caribbean Posh, the lovely Miss Jeanette Bryn, to really put into perspective uh, this magnificent event that is going to once again empower women across the Caribbean. It's an exciting conversation that you don't want to miss. We'll be right back after a quick commercial break. Rashford made it, Manchester United have come from behind to lead. At home or on the go, watch CCT Live. Download our app and carry your favorite TV shows, news, or live sports anywhere you go. Visit cctbvi.com forward slash live, select your package, and tune in. How can I get my claims paid quick? Rent's due next week. CG processes 99% of claims within five days. Remember when I was hang gliding with those goats? I caught a gust of wind and flew right into a moving car. Every appendage was in the cast, and they paid fast and fairly. That's what I get for trusting a man with a mustache and an eye patch. Now I gotta go. I'm meeting the guy who bedazzled my toes. 99% of claims are processed within five days. CG Insurance. Good like that. The Art of a Distinguished Gentleman presents Sons in Suits Brunch, a celebration of fathers and sons, at Treasure Isle Hotel on Saturday, June 17th, 10.30 a.m. to 1 p.m., featuring guest speakers, Deputy Governor of the Virgin Islands David D. Archer Jr., Pastor Courtney Jones, Entertainer Raul Jugusprov, Entertainment by Johanse Smith and Che Pemberton, alongside DJ Molly. Tickets are $75 for a father and son duo and $40 single tickets fun food fellowship and fatherhood lots of giveaways included ticket outlets are cct flagship stores on tortola and virgin gorda calling all fathers sons father figures nephews and uncles sons in suits 2023 hosted by the art of a distinguished gentleman a red carpet celebration of fathers and sons for more information contact 442-3132 proudly sponsored by cct and 284 media happy father's day to you happy when you're in need of air conditioning, installation, repairs, or replacement services, Markinson Air Conditioning and Refrigeration has the professional technicians, equipment, parts, and ACs to get the job done right. Markinson Air Conditioning and Refrigeration carries top brands like Daikin, Aircon, Mitsubishi and more. We're open Monday to Saturday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Located in Fish Bay. Telephone 340-4114 or 343-9511. Markinson Air Conditioning and Refrigeration. Providing exceptional services to the British Virgin Islands since 2015. Welcome back, everyone, and thank you folks so much for sticking with us. As promised, I am joined by Miss Jeanette Bryn. Jeanette, welcome back to our platform, and thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. It's always a pleasure. Caribbean Posh 2023, now in its seventh yes. edition. Um, yes. Quite a journey. Um, first of all, congratulations. Uh, thank you uh, so much. Having now taken it to its seventh year. A uh, number of things I want to talk about. In the initial stages, uh, when Posh Girl or Posh Girls was first introduced to uh, the BVI public. It was really to that, the BVI women. Now in its seventh year, we broaden our horizons quite a bit. Caribbean Posh. I want to talk about the journey um, of the inaugural Posh event to where we are now, really focusing and catering to the entire region. Tell us about that. So um, I initially started Caribbean Posh as a magazine, right? And this was back in 2005, and 
over the years, you know, wearing my little marketing hat, trying to figure out ways to evolve and grow and connect with more and more people, Caribbean people specifically, you know, because as a Caribbean woman, I remember thinking always wanting to create a platform that would not just benefit me, but celebrate people like me, mm -hmm. women in particular like me, um, entrepreneurs, you know, people that had something dynamic and interesting to say from photographers, models, fashion designers, you name it, any, any genre you were in within the Caribbean, we wanted to celebrate it. Um, so fast forward to when I eventually had moved home to BVI, I thought on doing this event, you know, living in the States that attended similar type mm -hmm. events, you know, like Essence Fest and um, Black Women of Power and, you know, all the, you know, dynamic women empowerment events that go on in the U.S. mainland. And I wanted to bring that kind of energy to the Virgin Islands and to the Caribbean in general to, to celebrate us as Caribbean yes. women. And so did Posh Girl Power Brunch over at Scrub Island for the first time. Um, I'm sure a number of you remember that experience, you know. It was really, it was wild. It was, you know, I initially thought like, you know, will people get it? You know, I wasn't sure, but you know, something was telling me I had to mm -hmm. do this, mm -hmm. you know. I had to fulfill um, this mission that I had challenged myself to do. And I just remember walking in the first time at Scrub and opening them door, the doors and all these beautiful women came in and everybody just, I mean, the energy was unforgettable. Um, and every year we've been coming back um, better than the year before. I mean, the same energy, but better. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> always, always getting better. Essentially, yeah, that's what we're here for. Yeah, I mean, I think, especially now we live in a time where I think it's important for us to celebrate who we are. and. Um, that's really what this is about, curating experiences for us, you know. So you come to the Caribbean Posh Girl Power Brunch and you'll see, you know, a diverse group of women all with one thing in common, being from the Caribbean, yes. you know. And we're representing the Virgin Islands, the U.S. Virgin Islands, Trinidad, St. Vincent, you name it. Everybody is so excited to represent. and be all posh and everything and, you know, sharing moments with some of their best girlfriends, best, um, I like to call entrepreneurial besties, mm -hmm. you know, encouraging that energy for us to collaborate, collaborate on ideas and things that we want to do career wise. Um, it's just amazing. Beautiful. <laughs> I, well, I get excited just talking about as it. As I mentioned to you before, congratulations, but I, I want to I want to touch on one simple aspect, okay. right? Because uh, the past few years have been quite a roller coaster, yes. all right, for yes. everybody across the yes. world, but particularly across the region. Yes. Uh, but but in observing the content of Posh, it seemed to have uh, simply skyrocketed over the COVID era and, and period. I want to talk about that that time where persons were locked down, but the yeah. brand of Posh uh, really spread its wings to the Caribbean. What was that moment and that space like for you as the creator? Mm -hmm. So I think one thing, the whole experience of the lockdown, especially here in BVI, I think we, we were one of the islands or the territories that had that uh, kind of unique experience, like we were really locked down. Mm -hmm. um, and it really made you think about what you wanted to do with your life and how you were going to pivot or um, push forward on any um, personal journey or entrepreneurial journey that you were doing prior to yeah. COVID. Um, so I, I had a lot of time to think and social media became <laughs> even more of a best mm -hmm. friend. Um, so all of us, not, you know, not just myself, I think a lot of us spent time, you know, just having fun and just being our quirky regular selves and just opening up to what was on our mind and yes. you know just sharing our individual experiences so taking that into context with this being an entre entrepreneurial journey for me i felt like you know i need to get out more with caribbean posh i need to showcase and help encourage us as caribbean people the importance of collaboration mm -hmm. the importance of building on our ability to commerce um, between um, our islands um, because, I mean, an example of that is when you're cut off from the rest of the world, yeah. it 
takes a damper on things. Precisely. Um, and there's so much, um, there's so many Caribbean brands that we, a lot of us probably got introduced to during COVID. Um, and for me, that said to me that as Caribbean people, we need to be more conscious about that, about Shop Caribbean, yeah. which is one of my initiatives in this year's Power Brunch, where we want to just, hey, hashtag Shop, Shop Caribbean. Caribbean. Shop you know, we are, we are important. And the more we invest in ourselves, um, the better, the stronger that we will be, not just as a territory, but as a wider Caribbean. You know, I so agree. yeah, that's the message I want to push forward this Excellent. year. Excellent. <laughs> well, as I mentioned, uh, Posh, Caribbean Posh 2023, yes. it's making its way over to the USVI. Yeah. Uh, there are a couple of days uh, that are going to be leading up to, of course, uh, a three day event, really. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us about the scope of uh, from beginning to end. What can the persons expect, uh, the location, and why should they come out to uh, Posh, yeah. Caribbean Posh 2023? Yeah. Um, so, for people who have been coming to the event for the past couple of years, even when we did. Um, the hybrid and the virtual events. Um, I think one of the things that I've been talking about for a while is um, really getting out and reaching more people. So COVID again inspired yes. that. So I figure, you know, while something like that in anything entrepreneurial that you're doing, certain things are easier said than done. So I said, I have to get out of my comfort zone and take this a little further. Let me test this out. St. Thomas, right next door. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, you know, like second home to many of us. It's still it's, family. Yeah. <laughs> it's still family all the time, definitely. So let's let's do this. So we're um, embarking on a three-day weekend experience. Um, as you know, like I said, two as a means of building a brand, giving us as posh girls an opportunity to network, maximize our networking opportunities, connect with family and friends over in the USVI are people we've never met before mm -hmm. who are like-minded and could possibly make waves in your, your business or entrepreneurial journey that you're working on. Um, when it comes to growing your business or entrepreneurship um, adventure, it's important to get yourself out there. So just as I need to get myself out there, my fellow posh girl entrepreneurs need to get themselves out there as well. So I'm hoping that this curated experience gives us an opportunity to do that. Yes. Um, and I'm trying my best to make it easier for us, you know, to be able to travel to St. Thomas, um, whether you want to make a weekend of it um, to really, really have a great time or make a day trip for the main event. So starting on June 16th, um, we're going to be at the Batu studio. Um, this is a beautiful um, studio in St. Thomas owned by a lady named um, Lina Batu. Okay. She is a designer, artist, and owner of the design studio. Um, and she is just an amazing lady within herself. Um, so we're going to share a an uh, evening of what we call the fashion villa experience where we're talking about design and fashion and um, influencing, mm -hmm. you know, being that we're in a very social media driven world, there are a number of people who are trying to develop, develop sorry, themselves in that genre. So this gives you um, an opportunity to network with people who are interested in those kind of things and figure out how you can bring, develop your Caribbean brand in that respect. Um, we also have Samantha Black, um, who, who has been to the brunch before. She is a notable designer for Sammy B Designs. She has dressed a number of celebrities, including Beyonce and a number of others. And her brand recently launched on Target and Nordstrom. Um, she's Jamaican heritage, okay. by the way. Um, our, our very own Kristen, of course. Amazing, you know? yes. <laughs> Kristen is like, like my everything every year she's the ultimate posh girl so i mean i'm sure you get it you totally Absolutely. agree anybody yeah. who's around kristen you get it the energy the life the beauty <laughs> you that get is. it yeah. so she's there again um on the journey on her entrepreneurial journey as well yeah. as she celebrates her road to 15. Yes. so she's doing it up in st thomas with us as well um day two the main event on um, the posh girl power brunch which most of us are familiar with will be taking place at 
um, Cutlass and Cane in Yacht Haven Grand. It's this amazing restaurant that's locally owned. Um, so I'm, that's another thing I'm excited about, the opportunity to, you know, because for the past couple of years, it's been at beautiful resorts, yes. which is great. But how cool is it to work with locally owned restaurants mm -hmm. and um, um, venues to really, you know, Curated amplify, yeah, 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 to really amplify that whole idea of entrepreneurship and supporting Caribbean. Um, it says a whole lot, so we're excited about that. Um, Clara Summers from Fashion Bomb Daily, she's going to be um, our amazing keynote. Um, if you're not familiar with Claire Summers, she is one of the most notable fashion influencers in the world, period. So if you're in design, fashion, and creative, anything creative, mm -hmm. this will be a talk you want to hear because she's a self-made influencer with a gazillion followers. She's just doing it, nice. <laughs> you know. And she's a Harvard grad, Beautiful. grad no slouch mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. So she's going to be interesting. Um, we also have two attorneys joining us, Micah Hilaire. She is the founding partner of Eco Rights Group. She's going to be talking about negotiating for more money, a big topic that's Very always difficult yes. for people to really tackle, especially women. So you're going to want to hear what Micah has to say. Um, we have an attorney out of Trinidad as well, Celeste Haynes. Um, she's going to be talking about IP addresses and really, you know, developing your business in that respect. And we have a dynamic, dynamic, dynamic power pack panel that I have been working on for the longest. And wow. I'm so excited about this um, because it really... Um, gives, off, gets, gives us an opportunity to celebrate our USVI and BVI connection. Yes, um, which is extremely strong. Yes, yes. So we have the amazing Honorable Lorna Smith is okay. going to be joining us. We have the Honorable Luce Hodge is going to be joining us. We have the dynamic Shayna Smith is going to be joining us. We have Senator Donna Fred Gregory from St. Thomas going to be joining us. Um, so you're going to want to sit tight That's and make sure you have right a there. seat yeah. for that because we're going to be talking about how to fashion change in the Caribbean community um, and I'm sure you'll agree now is the time of the woman. We see so many amazing women taking on yeah. leadership roles Most throughout definitely. the Caribbean and if you haven't noticed already it's a signal of change um, and I think we have a lot to look forward to. Well, when you when you just called out your panel, of course, uh, three of those being uh, from the BVI, yeah. and, uh, Donna Fred Gregory representing the U.S. Virgin Islands, but four very strong and dynamic women oh, who uh, continue to pave the way in politics across not only Tortola, mm -hmm. uh, but across the region. When you mention uh, our Deputy Premier, uh, the Honorable Lorna Smith, uh, someone who has uh, really charted uh, an international uh, brand and representation. So kudos to that uh, mm -hmm. amazing panel. Yes, thank you so, so much. Um, but yeah, so the day three, I have so much to talk about. <laughs> the day three, um, we're going to be winding it down. We're calling that Pink Sunday. Um, and we're going to be doing that at an actually very historical venue in St. Thomas, right in downtown. It's the H&L Distillery inside okay. the Grand Hotel. If you're not familiar, it's right next to Emancipation Garden. Mm -hmm. Um, and we're going to create a really nice experience in there. Everyone's going to wear pink to celebrate the power of femininity. Yes, we know it is Father's Day, but hey, dad can be a plus one. And the other thing I like to stress too is just because this is a women empowerment mm -hmm. event doesn't mean that men aren't a part of the conversation because men do have a very important role very to play in, supporting, in yeah. you know the roles of women in our communities so by all means i mean i could reference black women of power where there are a number of men there supporting their women right by their side they're yeah. right there supporting them so we should do the same 
Um, yeah, so really excited. Amazing. So I want to talk about tickets. Uh, how can persons get tickets um, for the main event? Perhaps I know there are always packages available yes. for the entire weekend. And uh, because we are uh, traversing over to the US VI, uh, we do have some uh, discounts on Smith's Ferry. So tell us about mm -hmm. the tickets and those packages, uh, whether personal group discount, personal students, uh, or corporations. <laughs> Yes, we are working to make it as affordable mm -hmm. as possible for everyone to attend. So yes, the tickets do start at 150 per person. There are a number of discounts available from group packages, corporate packages, student discounts. Um, if you follow us on Caribbean Posh on Instagram, you can take advantage of some little discount codes that we'll be pushing out. Okay. Um, we also have as you mentioned, two discounted round trip tickets on Smith's Ferry. It's going to be $80. If you want to come down for the day on Saturday, $80 round trip. Um, if you're doing the whole weekend, it's still $80 round trip, and that includes your luggage. Okay. So you don't have to pay additional for your luggage. You just have to pay your departure tax. Yep. Um, and then if you are looking to make the whole weekend, um, you can, if you don't have a place to stay, because some of us might not have a cousin or two in St. Thomas that we could room with, or maybe you just want to stay in the a luxury. Yeah, that you just, right. Yeah. You just want that. So we have the Pink Palm, which is uh, one of St. Thomas's newest properties. It's an absolute gem of a property right downtown St. Thomas, and they're offering fifteen percent off. Excellent. You just use the promo code Posh Weekend, and yeah. Wonderful. Well, again, uh, this is an entirely packed weekend. Um, <laughs> seventh anniversary, Caribbean Posh 2023. Uh, ladies, you are uh, encouraged, of course, uh, to celebrate uh, the uh, Caribbean Posh seventh edition uh, by heading over to St. Thomas USVI for an entirely uh, fun filled and very enlightening uh, based on the lineup, enlightening weekend filled with uh, some amazing speakers across the Caribbean, uh, definitely highlighting some uh, from the BVI and USVI as well. Uh, Janet, before we go, I want to speak to the women uh, of the Caribbean, essentially, uh, as we uh, really gear up to culminate for this magnificent event. Uh, encourage them to come out before we go. Yes. Uh, Caribbean Posh Weekend, June 16th through the 19th in St. Thomas, US VI. This is an opportunity for you, for us as Caribbean women, to maximize our networking opportunities, create, be a part of something amazing create growth within our community, um, you name it. Spend time with other like-minded women. Hey, we cannot be apologetic whatsoever about celebrating the style and vibe of Caribbean women. This event is curated especially for us, for us, about us, and we are truly amazing. We are Caribbean past. So I hope to see you all in St. Thomas and Visit www.caribbeanpatch.com to um, purchase your tickets and read up on all the information. We're updating the website quite regularly. So don't miss out. CaribbeanPatch.com, Caribbean Posh Weekend. Wonderful. I want to thank you so much for stopping by as always. It's oh always a goodness. pleasure to have you. Uh, and again, congratulations. Good stuff. Thank you. Yeah. Viewers, that's all the time we have. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. You're watching 284 Media. Have a beautiful rest of the day. Bye-bye.